Okay, okay. Welcome to our sky and stars. Two concepts. True airspeed, indicated airspeed. Do you want to talk about them? Okay, let's go. We are not going to to go through them deeply. Not today. Sometime in the future, in uh, we will go. We will very deeply, but today, briefly, we. What is uh, true airspeed? Well, true airspeed is is the speed, is the actual speed. An aircraft is flying through air molecules and clouds. That's the true airspeed, actual speed of the aircraft through the air. We cannot see the molecules. No one can see the, mole the molecules, the molecules, but we can see the clouds so the aircraft is going is flying you know you know past the clouds stuff like that you, you know the, the 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 pilot can see the cloud the clouds drifting just like the air, just like the airplane that is the true airspeed of the aircraft okay so, but now, indi indicated indicated airspeed is different. Indicated airspeed is different. This is what you see on the airspeed indicator on the aircraft. So, what what we True airspeed is related to ground speed. Indicated, well, let me, let me say, the airspeed indicator on the aircraft measures pressure. Okay? That's what it does. It measures pressure. It measures total pressure from the pedal tube system and static pressure from the from this static pressure system and from those two you know from those two total pressure static pressure comes dynamic pressure which is a balance between total pressure and static pressure so dy dynamic pressure is the we can call it the the, the moving the moving uh, element of of uh, of the aircraft you know for lack of a better word okay so dynamic pressure is pressure is very very important movement okay so that's what you see that that's the measurement on the the, the, the information on the airspeed indicator is from dynamic pressure which is a balance of total pressure and static pressure okay so this is a very very delicate subject i'm not going i'm not going 
I'm not going to go through it, you know, thoroughly today. But eventually, we're going, we're going, we're going to tackle that subject. But today, you know, if you didn't know, the difference between between TS and IS today you know so once again please don't forget to to subscribe to my YouTube channel to my videos so I can be more motivated, more motivated to provide you with the useful information, not only in aviation, but in music, in, uh, uh, music, music, music theory, uh, recording, you know, live, live sound reinforcement, you know, so all these things, if I can help you be better at some stuff and you can help me be better at some stuff, that's a very good combination. So when we talk about total pressure from the pitot system, we are talking about dynamic pressure plus static pressure equal total pressure. So now to get dynamic pressure, we subtract static, static pressure from the st static parts from total pressure, then you have dynamic pressure which is actually the information that you see on the airspeed indicator on the aircraft okay it assist it is a uh, it's two systems working together the pitot tube system and the static okay uh pressure system the uh, static static parts you know stuff like that so it is a very very it's not complicated but it could be so next time we will go through it in a more you know we will go we will go through it deeper because there's a lot there's a lot we we I'm going to have to post uh, several videos about this one subject. Okay? So, st stay tuned. <laughs>